Thank you, Mr. President. I'm truly humbled to be here today representing the Center for Internet and Society, an Indian civil society organization. If I may assume the privilege of speaking on behalf of my blind colleagues at CIS, who led much of our work on this treaty, and the many blindness organizations we have been working with over the past five years who haven't had the means of being here today, I would like to thank you and all the delegates here for this important achievement. And specifically, the World Blind Union and Knowledge Ecology International have renewed focus on this issue more than two decades after WIPO and UNESCO first created a working group on access by the visually and auditory, auditory handicapped to material reproducing works produced by copyright. While doing so, I would like to remember my friend Rahul Cherian, a young physically impaired lawyer from India who co-founded Inclusive Planet and was a fellow with the Center for Internet and Society and was a legal advisor to the World Blind Union. He worked hard on this treaty for many years, but very unfortunately did not live long enough to see it becoming a reality. His presence here is missed, but I would like to think that by concluding this treaty, all the distinguished delegations here managed to honor his memory and work. I'm grateful to all the distinguished delegates here uh, for successfully concluding a reasonably workable treaty but especially those who regarded this treaty as a means of ensuring basic human rights and dignity of the visually impaired and the print disabled, instead of regarding it merely as a flexibility to be first denied and then grudgingly provided. The current imbalance in terms of global royalty flows and in terms of the bargaining strength of richer countries within WIPO itself many of whom strongly oppose the access this treaty seeks to facilitate right till the very end, is for me a stark reminder of colonialism, and I see the conclusion of this treaty as a tiny victory against it. It is historic that today, WIPO and its members have collectively recognized in a treaty that copyright isn't just an engine of free expression, but can pose a significant barrier to access. Today, we recognize that blind writers are currently curtailed more by copyright law than protected by it. Today, we recognize that copyright not only may be curtailed in some circumstances, but that it must be curtailed in some circumstances beyond the few that have been listed in the Berne Convention. When copyright doesn't serve the public welfare, states must intervene and the law must change to promote human rights, freedom of expression, and to receive and impart information and to protect authors and consumers. Importantly, markets alone cannot be relied to achieve a just allocation of informational resources, as we have clearly seen from the book famine that the blind are currently experiencing. This treaty is an important step in recognizing that exceptions limitations are as important a part of the international copyright acquis as the granting of rights to copyright holders. While this treaty is an important part of overcoming the book famine that the blind are facing, the fact remains that there is far more that needs to be done to bridge the access gap faced by persons with disabilities, including the print disabled. We need to ensure that globally we tackle societal and economic discrimination against the print disabled, as, does, uh, as well as the important issue of their education. This treaty is a small but important cog in a much larger wheel through which we hope to achieve justice and equity. And finally, blind people can stop being forced to wear an eye patch and being pirates to get access to the right to read. I also thank the WIPO Secretariat, Director General Francis Gurry, uh, and the WIPO staff for pushing transparency and inclusiveness of civil society organizations in these deliberations. In stark contrast to the way many bilateral and plurilateral treaties such as ACTA, the India-EU free trade agreement, etc., have been uh, progressing. I hope we see even more transparency, especially non-governmental participation in this area in the future. I call upon countries like the US, UK, France, Portugal, and Spain to ratify this treaty immediately and for rights holders organizations to support this. I congratulate you all for the miracle of Marrakesh which shows, as my late colleague Raul Cherian said, when people are demanding their basic rights, no power in this world is strong enough to stop them from getting what they want. Thank you.